To navigate from one page to another page in your website, you need a navigation area, you need links, and that is usually done through a menu element. But before you have the menu element on your page, you need to create the menu to kind of instruct the menu element how you're going to display that. In your CMS area, and if you're not here, click outside to close it. You can be on any page. Go to the top, click on the hamburger menu, and this will open your content management system. Select menus, and this opens the dialog box for the menu. You will see that it gives you about contact, home, and services. These are the pages that we've created. And then there's also these two, blog and custom link. We're not going to focus on them now. First, you have to create a menu. And you do that, you select here on the down arrow, create new menu, and we're going to call this our main menu. Important though, click on the plus. And once you see this, you're ready to go. If you click outside, something strange is gonna happen. And that is if you try to create the menu, it's still not going to work. You have created the menu, but you've not selected it yet. Strange, yes, but that's how it works. You have to go back in and actually select main menu. And now you will see it says main menu, and then menu top order, no menu items. These items are those pages that we've created. You can select one by one by one, and then click here at the bottom, add to menu. We'll just select them now, and then click add to menu. Now we need to arrange them in the order that we want them to appear on our navigation area within our page. Challenge here is the following, and that is that home should be at the top, then about us, then services, then contact us. And to do that, you click, hold and drag, and then you take it up all the way to the top. And next one is about, that's right, services. And there we go, you've created it. You see that little house next to home? This indicates that this is your home page. Click save changes, and voila, you have created your first menu. Now, how do you make this practical? To do that, you need to go onto your page. So let's close out here on the menus and let's go to the home page. And to edit the home page, you have to select this edit function here. We select edit. And now we have to bring in a menu area on our page. If you are working with Brizzy Cloud Pro, which we will do in the future, Brizzy Cloud Pro has a block specifically made for a header area. That's where the menu goes. If you go to the bottom and you click here on add a new block, you can see here on the left there is header and footers. And within this header, you can bring in your menus, but you will see they are all locked. They are pro because this is not just an ordinary block, it's a header block and it works a little bit differently. I still want to use a block, so we go to all categories, yes, and then select create your own. Now this is where we're going to bring in our menu, but this is at the bottom of our page. How do I get this block all the way to the top of the page? Go to the sidebar on the left and you will see this little file or block that says reorder blocks, and that's where we're going to do that. Select this and the drawer opens and you will see each block is represented here by a thumbnail recreation of how that block looks. Very nice. To get this block at the bottom all the way to the top, simply click, hold and drag, and drop it at the top, and there we go. Now, click on the plus in the block, and we have to bring in a menu. Now, previously, I had deselected the menu element, so I need to bring it back. So I'll click here on edit. If I go down, you will see there's menu and there's menu. Select both of them so you can see what the difference is between these two and then select done. The difference is this menu is a pro one. So of course, pro means additional features. This menu is going to be limited, but hey, it's free, so don't complain. We cannot use this one. If I click and drag, nothing happens. So what I will do is I'll go back to edit and I'll remove this one because well, why waste my space? Here though, I would really like to see two different kinds of icons for these menus or a different way to identify between the two of them, just so that you don't get confused 
when you are using Brizzy Cloud Pro because these two elements are completely different. Click on this menu element and drag it and drop it in that block. And you will see there's a little hamburger menu that appears. And look at that. It automatically grabs those pages that I have created. Home, About, Services, and Contact Us. Nice. That's great. So let's click on it and just see what we can do with it. Again, the very familiar options toolbar that we get here. I say it again, very limited options here. If you're going to use the pro version, which we will do later, you will see you have a lot more functionality here. Click here on this icon for the hamburger menu, and it's going to give you the option to select which menu you are using. I've only got one menu, so guess what? I'm only going to use one menu. Spacing will add spacing between the menu links. So if I increase that, which I think looks much better, let's put it around 50. And if I cannot get it there, 50, you can just double click and type it in there. Next, I want to make sure that at least these fonts are representative of the fonts on my page. If I click on this one and I select the T for topography, it is set to custom. Let me see, Lato. But if I look for another nice font like this one, let's click on this and T, it's set to Montserrat. So I need to make sure that I'm consistent throughout my website. Select it again, go to T for topography and here is Montserrat. Select it very easily. I can make it bigger. All those other functions that we had earlier, I want to make it a little bit more lighter, normal. I like it. It fits this page a little bit better. So let's put it on 18 a little bigger. Change the color. Make sure it's on this one, darker. I like that. And you see here, we have three options. This is how it will display when it is just lying there, not selected. When you hover over it, let's choose this one, red. And then when it is selected, let's choose also a red. Let's choose this red. So let's put it back on normal or default. Select outside. And now you will see home is red because this is the page we're working on. And as I hover over the others, they're supposed to turn red. Let me check it again. It's on red. It's not working. Let's go test it on the front end. To do that, we first need to save the page. Control Command S. And then click here on front end preview. And let's see if those hover functions work. Something tells me I'm going to be super disappointed. Oh no, as I hover over them, they work. And let's click on About. And this takes us now to the About page. Super, except we don't have a menu here. I corner, what can we do here? Now, this is where we're going to work with global blocks. Massive cool feature within Brizzy and very easy to use. Basically, what we need to do is this area that we've created with our menu, we want it to appear on each and every page. In Brizzy Free, you're going to do that manually, but you can do it. How we do that is first, we're going to save this block. We're going to actually put it in the library. And then from there, we're going to make it a global block. What am I talking about? Let's go to the bottom and just click here on add a new block. You are familiar with this interface, but you've also noticed that there are these two options called saved and global blocks. You can save blocks. So if I click outside here and I go to this one over here, make sure you select the block settings and then you see the little heart save blocks. I click on that. And once it has spun its wheels, go to add a new block, go to saved. And you will see there it is. If I click on it again, it's going to load it now onto my page, just like it would a normal pre-made block. You can use it again and again all over your site. So let's delete this one. We don't need that. The difference is that when you have a save block and you make changes to one of them, the other one will not update. And it could be that in the future, you're going to add more pages to your site and you want to make sure that it updates on all your sites. And that is where we call it a global block. And that's a different place on your settings. Go to the block settings and then you go zoom all the way to the left where it says block. Click on that. 
And then you have this option here, make it global. Doom. And now you will see this little blue icon appears there in the top. That shows you that this is now a global block. You go to the bottom and click on add a new block. Go to global blocks this time. You will now see it also appears here. Save though, still has the one that we saved. You can delete it because we're going to only work with the global block. Let's close it. So how does this global block feature work? What we need to do now is add this block to each and every page on our site. If you work with Brizzy Pro, there's an easy way to do it in one click. And that is by going to the settings, all the way to block, and where you see display conditions, you click on that and you add them here. But Brizzy reminds you that you have to get Pro to do that. But we can do it manually, which is more than enough if you're working with free. So let me show you how to do that. Go to our content management system, and from our pages, we're going to edit all of these guys down. So let's start here with about. Let's click on that. Oh, it says leave, which means we didn't save this page. Thanks for reminding me. Control Command S. Let's go back. Pages, about. And now we're going to bring in the global block for this page as well. You don't have to scroll all the way to the bottom and click here on add a new block. Between the blocks, you will see there's also a blue line with a plus in the middle. Select that, it gives you the same. And now you go to global blocks and you select this one and it brings in that global block that we had created. You'll see there again is the little global indicator. We need to move it to the top, sidebar, reorder blocks and drag it to the top. Remember to save it. Control Command S, scroll up, Control Command S. And now you do that for the other two pages as well. Hamburger menu, content management system, services. And like I've said, if you think this is extra work, you're right. But that is the point of the free version. In the pro version, it will go much more quicker. And go to reorder blocks, drag it to the top, control command S to make sure that you save it. Super. And then last page, pages, contact us, edit the page. And then click here on the plus, go to global blocks, add that one, go to reorder blocks, drag it to the top, and then say update. Let's select preview from here. And now what we expect to see is that that menu will appear on each and every page. And then I will also quickly show you what is the benefit of using a global block. As you hover over it, you can see it highlights. And then let's go to the home page. And it takes us to the home page. And we know that there is a menu on the home page. There it goes. Interesting, it's not working for the active page. I don't see it light up for the active page. That's a little bug, but I know it works in the pro version. Don't forget about the freebies, okay? Excellent, it works. Now let's talk about why a global block is so important here. Any changes I make to this block here will update across my page. Let's go to the block settings overlay and let's change the background color to this gray then we go to our menu select a color and we make it white for the hover we make it this color and then for the active one we make it the same one now we have changed this block but we've done that on the contact us page however this is a global block so what we expect with a global block is for it to change across all of the pages. Let's save it, control command S, and then you click here on preview. And this is going to display on the contact us page as we just did, but will it also translate through to the other pages? If I click on the about page, let's see, and there we go. Gray color in the background, hover is red. If we go to home page, it should be the same. 
Splendid, splendid, splendid. Now we've created multiple pages. We've created a navigation area for our header and we've added a menu to it. Let's talk next about the site title and a little bit of a description as well as your favicon or your site logo. Let's close this preview.